MPEG-TS HTTP protocol is still a very popular source of streaming. However, end users need other protocols to play streams on their devices. And this tutorial will show how you can convert HTTP MPEG-TS streams into HLS, MPEG Dash, RTMP, SLDP, and other protocols with Nimble Streamer. We'll show two scenarios: the simple stream pool and then pool with a fallback stream. In the first scenario, we pull the stream from a source and just repackage it into multiple output playback protocols. We've installed three Nimble instances. The first Edge instance will process the streams, while two other instances will be the sources for MPEG-TS via HTTP. We go to the source A instance and copy the URL of the stream for further use. Then we go to our main Edge instance, Livestream Settings. We define a new application which will handle the output settings. There we select the protocols which we want to generate as output. You may also enable any features you find useful. Then we go to the MPEG-TS in tab to define the input. Click on Add HTTP Stream and paste the URL of your stream. Enable Add Outgoing Stream checkbox and make sure you use the same output app name as you've just defined. And you can use any stream name you like. You'll see the output available in MPEG-TS Out tab, which means you can now use it for further processing. You can choose any PIDs from video and audio input in case there are multiple streams in your source. The input is shown properly in the incoming streams page. And the output is available as well. You can see codecs, resolution and bitrate. Let's try to watch it. You can open the sample URL dialog and then choose the corresponding URL. The panel provides all combinations of server addresses and protocol specific URLs. For example, you can use a specific IP address for any output protocol which you define in your application settings. In our case, we have HLS Dash, SLDP, RTMP, RTSP, and even an IceCast stream. Now let's create the second scenario with a fallback. We're going to define MPEG-TS input from the original source and a fallback stream. The output will use either of the sources depending on their availability. We go to the MPEG-TS in tab and open settings of the input which we defined earlier. We add the URL of the second stream in the fallback URL edit box. You can add any number of fallback streams if needed. The settings will be applied within a few seconds. Let's start the stream playback to see the fallback in action. We'll use SoftVellum SLDP low latency playback to see quick response to our changes. We now log into the source A server and just stop Nimble to emulate source outage. You see the stream is frozen, and then the stream from server B is being taken as the source. Now we start source A back. However, Nimble still uses source B and does not return to source A until source B is stopped. We log into stream B server and stop it. Now stream A is back. There is an option to automatically return mainstream from the fallback. In the incoming stream settings, you can define a primary check interval, which forces Nimble to check the initial stream periodically. When the original stream is back online, it's taken as a source again. Notice that the primary check interval is a premium feature which requires an active addenda license registered at your Edge server. Take a look at this video description to find out all related pages, articles and videos.